this third video is going to be on your third bridge in West Point Bridge Designer. So when we get started here, make sure you have Create New Bridge Design and click OK. We'll go through a few of these screens and set up your bridge. So we'll go to our third screen here. We'll want to make sure our deck elevation is set to 24 meters. We have standard abutments or supports for our bridge. No piers, no anchorages. Click Next, click Next, and for our template we'll want to have selected the worn through truss bridge for this third design. Click Next, Design By, put your last names, you are in your partner's last name, Project ID number three, click Next, and Finish. So just like the other ones, we will play connect the dots and for this bridge we're going to combine what we did for the first and second bridges we're going to be changing the size of the members of the bridge and we're going to be changing them from hollow to solid as well as the kind of steel they're made out of so this third bridge will have even more stuff that you need to go in and change on it to make it work. So it'll be just a little bit more difficult. And please remember that the prices of these bridges are all different depending on the bridge. So some of the prices on the other ones that you did are, are different than this one. Just depends on the design of the bridge. So, so once we have our bridge made, we'll test it, make sure it works. Okay, so it failed so we'll fix these four pieces make them a little bit bigger so the bridge works test it one more time okay so let's take a look at our bridge so when I started mine I have a whole bunch of pieces here that are already dark color these dark blue ones are the ones probably these three here in the middle are ones I don't want to mess with. Your bridge, depending on how your settings on your computer, may be a little different. So you might already start off with some pieces already dark. So we're going to do just like you did the other pieces. We're going to go in, we're going to make some of these smaller that are light color. So like these two here at the ends, we can make those smaller and we'll test them, look at the color, so we'll do that first. We'll make them as small as we can to begin with until we can't seem to make them any smaller. And I'm not going to do the whole bridge. I'm just going to do parts. So let's say we've gotten all these pieces at the bottom, all about as small as we can get them. These pieces are all blue color. So those all have to be solid because they're being pulled. So we're going to keep them solid bars, but we can change the different kind of material that they're made out of. In class, we should have discussed the different kinds of steel. Carbon steel is the weakest. High strength, low alloy steel is the middle strength, and quenched and tempered is the strongest. So that means that this one is going to be the least amount of money. This one's a little bit more. And this one's going to be the most amount of money. For your bridge, you're probably going to want to use more of these two than the carbon steel. You might have one or two, three or four pieces, a few of this kind of steel to get your bridge to work. Most of your pieces will probably be one of these two. So what I'm going to do is I selected all of those pieces along the bottom. I'm going to make them all quenched and tempered. Now watch what happens with the price when I change it to quenched and tempered. Yes, it goes up. That's because it costs more to make that kind of steel. But when we test your bridge, you're going to notice that these pieces quite, aren't quite as dark now. They were really dark blue. Now they're not quite as dark. That's because they're stronger pieces of metal. They can take more force. They can take more stress before they break so we can make them smaller now. 
So making them a stronger steel means that we can make those pieces smaller than they would have been if they were one of these other two steels. So now I can make those pieces smaller. I'll make them two sizes smaller and see how things go. So you don't want to change things too much. And I can see I can probably change all these maybe one more size. So when they start getting dark I like to just change things one size at a time. And you probably can go another size down. And these here in the middle are starting to get real dark. So that I'm going to look at these here. These are still light. These two on this side, these two on this side. So those are the two I want to mess with. Okay, and then we have some pieces along the top here that are red, so I can make some of those hollow. I'm just going to do them all. And remember, you make them hollow, you got to make them bigger. So all of these along the top, they can be solid, they can be hollow, they can go either way. So I can make some of these solid if I wanted to. I don't have to make them all hollow. The blue ones got to keep solid. So these... So we still have some of these that broke, the ones that are hollow. Let's see what happens if we make these a stronger steel. Instead of changing the size of them, if we make them a stronger steel, let's see if they'll hold up. They may or may not. Okay, so they still need to be bigger, but they don't need to be quite as big as if they were a weaker steel. Okay, so you want to go in and basically, like I said, do the same thing you did on the first two. Changing the size by looking at how dark the pieces are. Change the type of tube you're using depending on the color, blue or red. And then you want to go in and change the kind of steel to make the pieces smaller and less expensive. So those pieces that we haven't messed with you want to make sure you take a good look at those on the test screen because they alternate blue and red so you want to double check those before you start editing anything if you have any questions please see your instructor and again make sure that you're saving your work as you're going through not at the end when you've gotten the correct price for your bridge. Make sure you're saving as you're working so that you don't lose anything and have to restart.